each time a boat come in, they transfer part of the crew for new construction, you know, to man to do boats. So it was all constantly training, and that was scary. Because you get a lube hand on your bow plates or stern plates, or God, you didn't know when he's going up or down or what. <laughs> well, it's it's kind of normal to over overdo it. So that was worse than some of the runs, for God's sake. Did uh, did you guys sink anything on your first uh, on, on your? Yeah, two boat? ships mm -hmm. on the first patrol. Got two on each one. Two, four, six. Well, I was on there. We got six. And what's that? Uh, what's that feeling like when uh, when you know you, you know your boat's out there hunting? And uh, uh, is there a different tension aboard the boat, or a different? Yeah, it's usually when we'd pick up a ship, it, we wouldn't be right on it. It may be thirty miles and going in the other direction, so we'd have to stalk it, and we may. May stay at, at, at tracking for three days just to get in position. So it was rather, I mean, you weren't, you were tense, you know. But it was kind of a relief to hear it get hit, you know. And it wasn't any raw, 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 all that bullshit, but, you know, you got a little rest. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, it's funny, we were after him, but it wasn't personal. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to kill the guys, hell, I didn't even know them. <laughs> so, but they were the enemy and we had to do what we had to do. So, usually when we'd get a hit, it'd get clear. Of course, when we hit one, then we were in deep doo-doo because the destroyers got after us. And that wasn't too much fun. Can you talk about that? What what is it? Uh, what's it like to get death charged? Well, the way I describe it, you put a number two horse tub over your head, and let me stand there and beat on it with a baseball bat. Follow me. <laughs> um, it's not it's not too comfortable. 